What's up, beautiful people? It is your own girl, Shameless, all up in your building, and this is yet another tech talk. Now this video is all about what cameras I own and why. I get a lot of questions on all my social platforms. What camera should I buy? What camera should I buy? I am going to talk about the cameras that I have, why I have them, and also my suggestions. <laughs> so the first camera I have and recommend is the Sony Alpha 5100. There are several series of the Alphas. This is how much? I don't know actually. There's a store, there's a new feature. If you click the I button, you can actually purchase it directly from here. Because Google and YouTube are making it that easy for you to spend your money. So you don't have to ask me uh, what, it's in the description box, but it's also right in front of your face, okay? <laughs> so yes, I have the Sony 5100. I also have the A6000. I bought the 6000 first and then I bought the 5100. To pick up the two, I would steer you in this direction. It's cheaper. This is a great camera for entry level. It might be a little bit out of your budget, in which I would suggest getting the A5000 or even the Sony NEX series. Um, and there's a bunch of different series because it all has to do with the release date and even little features. But for the most part, these cameras are so good. What I love about these cameras they are small, meaning I could travel with this in my purse. I can go to events, which is what I do a lot, and not have this big camera, which is what I'm filming on, around my neck. The other thing that I love about this camera, it's kind of the size of a point-and-shoot camera, but, major but, the lens is interchangeable. That is huge and important in my world. If there's one thing I'm gonna tell you, it is get a camera that allows for interchangeable lenses. Bodies are important, but you can achieve some awesome quality videos and photos. The minute you start buying lenses, you can start creating magic. Now this is the 16 millimeter lens, which means it's wide. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a video on lenses. Also hit the I button and you'll see the video drop down or in the info box. But I have a 50 millimeter lens which will allow you to create depth of field. To simplify depth of field, it's basically blur. How you can create blurry backgrounds, which is what a lot of YouTubers do if they're not sitting in front of a blank wall. Um, but lenses, and I have several lenses. I also have the zoom lens. So you can buy these cameras with the body only or with the body and a lens, in which case it comes with a kit lens, which is typically a zoom lens. You see that? It goes in and out. Now the only thing I don't like about that is it's electronically powered. It's not manually operated, which means there are more issues and complications, especially I found with the Sony series. Um, a month into buying this, the lens broke and I had to send it in for repair. I do recommend getting a zoom lens, but just be very careful with it. It is sensitive. So again, what is it that you need? Do you want to be vlogging, doing adventure? And what I love about this too is a selfie screen, all of that. I can see if everyone's in the frame when I'm taking a selfie. Um, and you could flip it down if you don't want to be distracted or leave it up. And another awesome feature about the Sony A5100 is the Wi-Fi capabilities. So you could take that beautiful photo on your camera and transfer it directly onto your smartphone. This is a really great camera. <laughs> I have got all my friends and my family buying this. Um, it just allows you to build and grow. When you're able to buy lenses, you can start pushing and growing, especially if you just started this as a hobby and you actually want to learn more about photography and video. Alpha series, NEX series, basically a camera that allows you to remove the lens. I also have the Canon 5D Mark III. Now that is like a $3,000 camera, I'm not sure. Um, I bought it a while ago, but that's for professionals. Or maybe you are an amateur and you're loaded in dough, in which case go ahead and buy this if you really want to study the craft of photography and video. If you don't mind the size of a digital SLR, then I would recommend getting the Canon TI series. There's the T3, T4, T5, 
Um, and then I believe there's the Canon 6D, which is really good. 6D is a full frame sensor. But I would recommend, if you're new, start with an entry level camera, push it to its limits, understand it, and then upgrade. So yeah, I have the Canon 5D Mark III. It's a digital single lens reflex, often referred to as a DSLR. It's huge. It's great. It's perfect for videos, for movies. So when I travel a lot, um, I do bring it with me, but more often than not, I'm pulling this out of my bag because it's accessible. Next camera I have is the GoPro Hero. These are amazing. I have the 3 Plus. I haven't upgraded yet. It's fine. This is great. This is totally fine. I'm not going to upgrade until this gives out on me. Um, or if I need like two GoPros going at the same time. Um, what GoPro does amazing is the size. This one doesn't have an LCD screen, which allows for it to be as small as it is. Um, but it's perfect for adventures and extreme sports. For me, I'm a water baby. I throw it in this case. And again, you guys, I'm gonna list everything I'm talking about in this new feature here, this Google store. It's in the case, and now when I'm in the ocean, I'm not gonna be freaking out and panicking if it falls off my neck, falls off of my wrist, because it has a flotation device, and it's a bright color, and I can spot it. So that makes this peace of mind. You can attach the GoPros to your helmet, to your bikes, to your wrist. Accessories that they sell are endless. I even actually strapped this to Jackie. Jackie was amazing for that. <laughs> but yeah, extreme sports and it's super small and light. The other feature I like about this camera is because it is small, it's super light, but I bought a attachment that goes onto my car and I could film either inside my car, outside of my car with this. But I feel a lot safer with something light and portable on an attachment that's filming from a moving vehicle. So I actually love these cameras. The next one is my iPhone. This is great, this is my trusty iPhone. When my cameras are dead, the battery is dead, I pull out the iPhone and I start filming. It's not about what you don't have, it's about what you have and making it work for you. It's small, non-threatening, non-intimidating. You could take this with you, but you guys already know this. Don't be, don't judge, <laughs> okay? Don't judge. So those are my cameras, why I have them, why I bought them. So the questions to ask yourself is, what is it that you need it for? Be very specific. I need it to vlog, I need it to travel, I need it to capture a graduation. Be aware of that, make some notes, write that down. What is your budget? Do some research. Look for the latest model and then look for the one it's replacing. Get that on sale, get that on discount. And yeah, if you are not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like this video if you found it helpful. Uh, share it, share the video, sharing is caring. And comment below and let me know which camera you guys are using. I'd love to know, so would everyone else. Remember to do you, be you, and stay true, boo. Be shameless, be a geek.